just at the same time the car was going into oblivion that this American iconic movie came along and they said, what could we use that people will remember as this time machine? I saw Back to the Future opening weekend, July 1985. It left a mark on me, it really did. If you were to Google the most expensive DeLorean on Earth, my picture would come up. I was chanting, sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it, sell it. I have the notoriety of having paid the most money ever for a DeLorean motor car. Finally, the hammer dropped. I literally jumped out of my seat, high five my father. $540,000. I used to make my dad drag me to these things every Friday night just in the hope of eventually seeing a DeLorean. I just thought it was the coolest thing ever. I remember when Doc opened up that uh, panel van and they lowered the hatch and down came the ramps and then out came the smoke and the DeLorean and everything and I was just blown away. The car speaks to me. It certainly has a character to it. The car itself will transcend the generations. So many different generations. Nothing can outdo the original trilogy. There is no chance whatsoever there will be a Back to the Future 4. Back to the Future has made the DeLorean really what it is. Every survey you look, you can count on the DeLorean time machine. I love Back to the Future, it's probably my top five. It's probably not my favorite movie, and I'm not obsessed with the movie, I am obsessed with the car. We're coming up on the 30th anniversary of the very first movie. This car will be there. Why not start where all of the action is? We may have another surprise uh, as well. If you were uh, handing out medals, I'd certainly hope that I'd win at least the silver medal. Not maybe the gold, but who knows? Maybe I'm shooting for the gold too. He who dies with the most toys wins. Hi, I'm Jason Aaron, and to my right is cinematographer Greg Lassick. Our film, Back in Time, will look deeply into the impact of the Back to the Future trilogy on American culture. But even more than that, our film will do this through the eyes, experiences, and influences of arguably the biggest star in the film. No, this is not a documentary about Michael J. Fox. This is a documentary about the DeLorean time machine and America's love affair with the vehicle. We've searched high and low to collect an extensive list of experts, collectors and fanatics to help us along our journey. We've met some of the most incredible people and been to some amazing locations. Among these experts are collectors of huge pieces of the film. And because of that, they own big pieces of American culture. In order to try to complete this passion project, we reached out to a producer to help us execute this project with the level of professionalism it deserves. Lewis here is also passionate about our film. So much so that he's willing to help make our dream a reality. What can I say? When I see something with producing, I don't hold back. And truthfully, with all the resources available to help make this film great, I see no reason to wait any longer. So if you love the trilogy, The DeLorean, and American cinema, please reach out and click one of those buttons to the right and make a donation to help get us kickstarted. We have some amazing rewards for our backers. And spread the word. We know the Back to the Future community is strong and we need your help. Thanks for listening. Ladies and gentlemen, we give you Back, Back in Time. time.